This is a love reading for Leo for November 2017. Okay, so what I see is that um, you are with someone or you will be with someone. Um, there, There's definitely feelings there. Um, I could, I'm even going to say that you could have just gotten married um, to this person. Um, but I, what I get is that, um, like... You would have been with this. You would have been with this person for quite a while before you would. You would have gotten married, um, or you're going to be with that person for a while before you get married, to to them. But um, what I get is that sometimes you daydream about being with somebody new. Um, you daydream about leaving them. You daydream about um, sex and love with other people. And in a way, you hide those things from your partner. You don't let them know that that's what's going on in your head. Um, what you need to realize is that, uh, you know, these, these daydreams, these thoughts that you have, they stem from issues that you have with yourself. Um... Number one, you have issues from your childhood and with your family that you absolutely need to heal, okay? Um, you definitely have self-esteem issues, okay? Um, which probably also stem from your childhood. You don't let your partner get to know you as well as you should let them, okay? And you also... Don't give your relationship a chance enough. And what I mean by that is like you don't let yourself get vulnerable. So when you're not vulnerable and you're in a serious relationship, it's like you're always having this false mask on yourself and you're not letting that person get to know the real you. The one inside. And the reason why you hide that person from your partner is because you have issues stemming from your past with your family and with your self-esteem. So it could be that maybe you don't, maybe you don't uh, feel like you know how to love. Maybe it's that um I forgot my train of thought. <laughs> Sorry. But um it's it's something that has to do with your past that um you know is affecting your ability to be vulnerable and let somebody in and get to know the real you. Um and if you keep that up, if you know, because you're what's happened is that or will happen is that, you know, like you're not like feeling the the real, true, deep feelings of the love. OK, so this person that you married, they have those feelings for you or that you will marry. They have those feelings for you, but you like don't really feel it. That's why you daydream about somebody new. But. The reason why you don't feel it is because you have issues that you're not dealing with and you're not letting yourself feel it. You're not letting yourself be open to it. So I don't see a breakup in these cards, okay? What I see more is um, if you let it go on the way it is. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to say that someone wouldn't leave you because they, you treated them this way because it's very possible that they could leave you. But they really do love you very much. So um, what I think you need to realize is that if you keep this up and you don't let somebody in, what, hap what starts to happen in that relationship is you start becoming like two ships passing in the night. Meaning like, you, you basically start losing interest. 
You stop talking, you stop hanging out, you stop having sex, and you're just like roommates. And the whole time that you've retreated from each other, and you're not yet you're not knowing each other anymore. All you're doing is sit around and daydreaming about somebody new. So, and being unhappy deep down. So it's, it really is like a bleak future if you can't turn this around. And, you know, if this means that you need therapy, then you need to go get therapy and deal with these issues because you want to feel those feelings that that person has for you. It, it's so good. It's so, you know, such an amazing feeling. And it's better than hiding, trying to hide something away about yourself that, you know, this person would accept. They wouldn't say, oh, well, I don't love you anymore because you have issues from your past. Like, they would accept it. They would probably love you even more because you're being more open with them. You're being more vulnerable with them. And that means that you trust them. So really, really try to work on these issues and, and open yourself up to this love. Because if you, if you remain shut or closed off, it's just a future of wishing you were somewhere else. And that doesn't seem very much like very much fun to me. So, um, so that's your reading. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, thank you so much for listening and let me know if you'd like a personal reading.